Columbia, we're 1 plus 30 from the ZOE. Back with you at 0641. No response required. We're with you on the mid deck, Franklin. You look real busy. Don't respond. And Franklin, we'd like for you to tilt the near field module toward you so that the thermophoretic probe is box is resting on the floor of the glove box. Uh, thanks, Jeff. That one's a lot better. Okay. Well, here's the uh, here's the first of the the samples which we just built, um, and the spare parts box you gave us, I think, will work very well. And uh, copy that, Jeff. Uh, looks great. Go ahead, Columbia. Uh, we'll just uh, terminate for a second the uh, mid deck uh, downlink and we'll show you the uh, front view camera. Copy. Uh, copy, Maurizio. Uh, we got that on the downlink and it looks great. Okay, then we go back to mid deck for a while. Columbia Houston, we're back with live TV on the middeck.
Uh, thank you. This is Mark Corot with the Houston Chronicle for Franklin. Uh, Chang Diaz, could you kind of uh, summarize what you think the pace and success of this flight has been since the TSS operations? What do you see going on that, that you think uh, will uh, point to the success of this flight? Well, this is, uh, the TSS operations, uh, the flight has been nothing but uh, good things uh, coming out in many uh, of the experiments that we're conducting. Uh, we're doing a lot of uh, exciting uh, microgravity experiments uh, in the payload bay as well as combustion experiments uh, in the uh, in, in the orbiter's mid-deck and maybe you've gotten a chance to see uh, a lot of the downlink that has come uh, come down to uh, to the ground as a result of those experiments and they, they've all uh, been working very very well the uh, mid-deck globe box uh, has performed uh, very well very well and we continue to use it and we'll expect to be uh, using it uh, uh, even uh, more uh, during the extension day. So everything is looking real good. Okay, yeah, uh, Stephen. Stephen Young with Astronomy Now. A question for Jeff Hoffman. Uh, historically, some of the, the greatest breakthroughs in science have been following accidents or setbacks of some kind that as a, as a result of, of those problems, uh, a great discovery has come along. Do you see the, the TSS breakaway in many ways in that same light? We've been getting uh, little bits and pieces of messages from the science team on the ground describing some of the work that they're doing. Uh, clearly, uh, this was not the mission that they expected. Um, although I will say that of the uh, the, what they what what we were looking for, and that is characterization of, of electrodynamics tethers and the generation of power, looking at, at the capability of electron beams and how much current can be collected by a satellite in the Earth's plasma. Uh, I think that those data have been obtained, and, and, and it looks very exciting. And we've got a lot of other data uh, that uh, really we've only seen, seen bits of Serendipity sometimes uh, produces great results in science. So uh, we've got our fingers crossed that uh, the scientists are going to make a lot of this mission. And I think a few months from now at the, uh, the International Tether Conference, uh, when these results are presented, it should be pretty exciting. a lot of clear story and um, as far as our TSS sighting went it was basically nil the uh, the moon was very bright right about the spot where we spot the TSS and by the time we probably got the moon away from it uh, we 
Thanks very much for trying. You sure do have a bright moon there. But it's uh, probably enhancing your view of Earth at night. That's a beautiful view of Earth, uh, especially on the oceans and on the clouds. Yes, sir. Moonlit Earth is uh, gorgeous. Thanks. We'll be handed over here in about 45 seconds. 